Hi, my name's Mark Gatter, and these videos are intended to help you pick out the color scheme you want every time. I've been working in graphics for about 40 years. I've been a freelance graphic designer for nearly 30 years. I've been working with these three programs since they first came out, and I've been training them for nearly 20 years. I'm an Adobe ACI, Adobe Certified Instructor, and I've got the Adobe Certified Expert qualification in all three. I've also written five books, these have all been published. That's not self-published. That's published. And I've got my own company. This is it, Tunnel Vision LTD. And that's the website. If you like these videos, please sign up. Go to the website. Tell me what you thought. You can also get the entire course on Udemy and Skillshare through there. Anyway, have fun. So here I am in one of my favorite programs, Adobe InDesign CC. And I'm going to show you how I pick out color schemes for my work. Now I think this is the best method, and I've saved it until now because I wanted you to watch the other videos, of course. But I think the other videos give you some sort of background information so that you have some feeling for where picking out a color scheme comes from. But I think this is way better. And I haven't seen this particular method, well, what I'm going to end up showing you in books. The tools, yeah, but the particular way I'm going to use it. So, first of all, I'm going to place an image onto the page, File, Place, and this one's called Derwent. And it's a beautiful lake, not too far from where I live. And in fact, I was walking my dog there about an hour ago. It's a hard life. So, it's still selected, and I'm going to go and get the eyedropper tool. This one. And if I click on the image with the eyedropper tool, it picks up the color that I clicked on. So this shade of blue is now showing here and here. And if I go to swatches, it's showing here. And if I click on the options button and say new color swatch, it's showing here as well. Now that's an RGB image, so it's giving me RGB sliders. If I wanted to convert that to CMYK, I would click here and then scroll up one. And there's CMYK. And that gives me a really good breakdown to two decimal places of the ink colors CMYK that are used to produce this particular color. And if I clicked OK, it's added to my swatches, which means I can edit it to my heart's content, and I could gradually build up a color scheme based on the colors in that picture. Might take a while, but I could do it. Here's a quick way. If I click on the color theme tool, which is at the top of this flyout, and that's a bunch of colors I picked from a different image a while ago, now I'm just going to click on the image anywhere and I get five colors that come from this image and if I click on that arrow I've got variations I could choose instead. If I click on the swatch icon they're all immediately added to my swatches window as CMYK tints that already converted. How about that? And if I clicked on this icon they'd be added to my Creative Cloud library. So using this method, I could very easily create a fairly good color scheme based on the images I was going to use in a piece of work. There's a couple of other ways I could use it as well. I'm going to unload the color theme tool by clicking on the selection tool and then click on it again. This time, instead of clicking on the image, I'm going to click and drag and just make a selection of a chunk of the sky. And look at that. All my colors now come from the area that I enclosed in that selection. So that's another way you can work with a color theme tool. Now I'm going to unload it again and select it again. And this time I'm going to hold down the shift key and click here. And those colors are all related to the area that I shift clicked on. So there's three ways to use this tool. Now those I've seen in books. But this particular twist that's coming up next, no, I haven't. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the vid. I hope it was useful to you. If so, please do go visit my website. Tell me what you thought. Bye for now.